So now I'm going to go ahead and freehand the camera for a second just so I can take you on a tour around the printing press so you can see it in its entirety at a, you know, a close-up view. So, so with the uh, printing press, as I said, the C-clamps hold the screen in place. And what I can do is I've got that center line on the platen. And when I line this up, I can just align the center of my screen and my pattern and then go ahead and clamp it down into place. And I added some washers there. I went ahead and JB welded some washers on there so they have a bigger footprint um, when clamping on the screen. Alright guys, one thing that you did not see uh, in the video, but I went ahead and added these 1x4 blocks here and what they, I went ahead and rounded over the, the inside edge, but what they do is they're just additional help to make sure if you do have any play in your hinge, you know side to side play, which there's none in this one, that those commercial hinges are real good if you get a commercial hinge. But what these do, along with the springs, is they'll help guide this arm down to make sure that you are staying in line with your platen. So these are 1x4s and they just basically from the bottom flush with the top here. And I went ahead and I cut off that inside edge, just did a round over. So uh, it wouldn't hit if it, you know, if there was any misalignment, it would roll it right down into that track where it needs to be. But uh, so there's one on each side, and these springs, uh, I went with a fatter spring here. Um, it really now when it pulls it up in its upright position, everything is solid. And of course, if I needed to adjust the tension, I could just adjust these turn buckles, and. Um, to get the tension that I want. Like for instance, if my screen wanted to fall a little bit, you know, uh, from weight or whatever, then I could just adjust the turn buckles and uh, get them correct. I went ahead and on my downdraft table, since I'll be using this, I decided instead of uh, clamping it to a board or, you know, screwing it down to a police supply wood, like I had mentioned earlier, I went ahead and took two of the holes and I cut them out just straight across. So that my clamps could fit in there and that way I can clamp this down to this table uh, in that position because that's exactly where it'll be and where I need it to be when I do printing. So let's real quick and then I'll end the video. As I was saying when, I, when we talked about the video we got the bottom layer which is uh, the three 2x4s. They're 14 inches long and they're shaped like an eye. The second layer which is the platen arm and it goes all the way to the back um, of the bottom frame it's screwed on along with these two four inch blocks and they're just butted right up to the side and they're screwed down because that's what holds the eye bolts for the spring the upper level is the one by four I went from you know the three and a half down to about about a quarter and that was the angle that I got just to kind of angle it off. This was also a 5 inch piece. And that angle ended up being a 45. Um, and what you want is that it f sits flat on this face when this thing is in the up position. And I got a little bit of a gap there but I don't, I'm not going to worry about that. Like I said, aesthetics I'm not worried about. Functionality I am. Um, also is this offset adjustment. And it's just an insert inside the 2x4 and it's got this screw uh, that I can adjust up or down. And what that does is when you have your shirt or your material, whatever you're printing on here, you want to create a little bit of an offset. Uh, you don't want it sitting right down on the material because it will tend to stick and want to pull the material up even though you uh, adhesive the shirt down. You want a little bit of an offset so that way when you push your screen down it kind of bounces back a little bit and there's just I mean literally a sixteenth of an inch gap in between there um, and so that way as you run that squeegee across it pushes it down on there and then it bounces back up um, the C clamps went ahead and drilled a hole sorry I'm shaking 
uh, I went ahead and drilled a hole through one of them, or you know, through each one, and screwed them right into these cross pieces that I was telling you about. And uh, then the angle iron, and on the angle iron, I you know I made center marks on everything, so everything is lined up and centered. And I, I made the angle iron just a little bit longer, just in case I ever want to use a bigger screen for anything. Um, so as a whole, that's all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this project. And as I said uh, in the beginning, that this was not uh, my regular format of the new, the new format of videos. This was something, this was a project that I was just shooting a random video of uh, as a build, you know, to uh, show you guys... Uh, the, the printing press and then I decided to, I wanted to go ahead and make it my weekly video because as I told you earlier my birthday is today uh, I've been in the shop most all day and uh, you know I spent some time with family and everything and a lot of time you know talking and thanking people on Facebook that stopped by and wished me a happy birthday but I decided I want to take tomorrow off which is uh, going to be Tuesday and Monday and Tuesday is usually when I'm filming my projects and building them and everything so I want to go ahead and I'm going to make this project a Wednesday video and so it's a little bit different format I didn't show any of the cutting techniques uh, I did a lot of talking and kind of uh, you know explaining things as I was going unlike my past videos you know uh, the, the past newer videos so it's a little bit different and I do apologize about that but I just I wasn't planning on making this a Wednesday video at all and I thought it was a cool project. It might, you guys might not ever want to build one of these and this might not interest you at all. It might be one of those videos that you don't really watch or find any interest in. But for those that do uh, ever think about printing your, their own t-shirts or something. And I'm going to be making a new platen, uh, a different style of platen to uh, be able to print hats if I want to print hats. It's just a little bit different setup, a, a, like a jig, you know, platen. So, uh, but I thought you know, it would be nice to show you guys. And so if you are interested in printing, you know, out of your shop or out of home, just, you know, something to do, if you put this project with the Carmichael's workshop project of making these frames, and I'll put the link to that video right here, you're all set. Steve goes through a full step-by-step -step on burning and making these screens, and hopefully I gave you enough information that you could build a press. If you have any questions, you can ask me at any time. And I'm also going to uh, put a link to the original YouTuber, uh, Living Country, um, Stavros, uh, and uh, so you can see his link and where I got the idea from. Alright guys, talk to you soon.